Hi, my name is Saban, and my project was on measuring bias in a saliency-based image cropping method formerly used by Twitter. As an undergraduate, I was a biology major, and I'm currently a neuroscience PhD candidate. I study how the brain changes during motherhood. I hope to be an AI researcher, and my areas of interest are neuroprosthetics, brain-computer interfaces, fair AI, and computer vision. My Kaggle project was combining fair AI and computer vision. In 2018, Twitter began a saliency-based automatic image cropping method. Twitter users observed a lot of biases with the automatic cropping. For example, the cropping would favor preserving uh, the white individuals or lighter skinned individuals in images compared to people who had darker skin in images. The goal of my Kaggle X project was to measure this bias, specifically building on a section of the paper titled Auditing Saliency Cropping Algorithms. As in section four of this paper, my notebook explores race, race, ethnicity, and gender bias by creating ordered pairs of images, such as the one that you can see on the right, where each ordered pair consists of individuals who have self-identified as different races, ethnicities, and or genders. I then run Twitter's algorithm on the generated ordered pairs and determine which image is more salient, i.e. which is more uh, attention grabbing and favored by Twitter's model. And I compute survival ratios. So as you can imagine, I generate many of these ordered pairs. And an example survival ratio might be the number of times the image from a group of black males is chosen compared to the number of times an image of a group of white females is chosen. I save these ratios, which is a metric for bias that Twitter shows. And I also uh, save information for plots for the different ordered pairs so that we can visualize uh, different preferences later on. And some differences between my project and the original paper were that my notebook compares the original groups of male, female, black and white individuals. I also have looped in Indian individuals into the study. And I use thousands of ordered pairs from images directly from the Chicago Face database, whereas the original paper uses several hundred randomly sampled synthetic images based on CFD. I found that race and ethnicity had the dominant effect in my study, where Indian individuals, regardless of gender, were consistently favored over white individuals who were consistently favored over black individuals. Women had a survival ratio of greater than one in five out of nine cases. So like the original study, there is still a preference for women, but it's not as strong. I can conclude that skin tone lightness isn't the only factor that leads to bias along racial and ethnic lines with Twitter's cropping algorithm. I did quantify skin tone to make sure that it wasn't ordered Indian, white, and black the way that I found in my data. And I did use a larger non-synthetic data set and found that unlike the original study, white men were actually preferred to black females, although general trends remain the same throughout my current study. I used data visualization, machine learning, and programming for this project. You can see some examples of my results on the right. Uh, so again, the main takeaways are that ethnicity and race were the dominant effect in preference. So you can see that Survival ratios for black females are across the board lower than white females, which are across the board lower than Indian females. You can see that within a comparison of a specific gender, in this case female, that the opposite gender, in this case male, uh, does have a similar preference when it comes to race and ethnicity, where Indian men perform the best compared to Indian female. Remember, this is a ratio, so there's a very large denominator, meaning that the survival ratio for an Indian female is lowest compared to an Indian male. Second best is white males. And finally, Twitter least prefers black males. What I learned in this project is a lot about early face and object detection algorithms and how they stack up compared to deep neural networks. The DNNs that underlie a lot of Twitter's uh, models like deep gaze two. I learned about specific cropping policies and combining algorithms and retraining neural networks. And I learned, most importantly, how to increase the efficiency of my code to accommodate larger data sets, um, how to annotate it really well, and general uh, best programming practices as a new programmer myself. Thank you.